before you start to connect the batteries, it's important uh, some recommendations. One recommendation is prepare the wrenches that you need per each battery terminal. Uh, normally, the wrenches that you need is a half and a 916 or 13 and 14 in a metric, uh, metric uh, size. Right. Okay. Be careful with the terminals. There are battery terminals. Uh, this is the appropriate battery terminal. Uh, you, you, you see the battery terminal uh, is, is closed, is closed over there, and um, the material is, uh, is marine approved. Uh, this one is open. You see the end? The end is open. When you introduce the wire, the metal of, of, the, of the cable is exposed here and is corroded easily. Uh, this is a serious connection. In series, I have two batteries of 12 volts, 100 amps each one. 12 volts, 100 amps each one. Remember, one of the most important part, both batteries should be exactly the same. The same characteristics, the same voltage, the same manufacture, and the same type of batteries. All right, we are going to start to connect the batteries in series right now. And after that, we are going to connect in part. Don't forget, in series, in series, when I connect the batteries in series, both batteries are equal, 12 volts, 100 amps. The series connection is the negative of the first one should be connected with the positive of the second one. And the output of the series will be between this point and this point. In this particular case, I prepare the cross cable green with yellow strips. I mark the color the positive of this battery connected with the negative of this one and this is the cross cable. The cross cable should be properly tied with properly wrenches. In parallel, the negative is connected with the negative and the positive will be connected with the positive. And this is the output of the, of the parallel and for positive and negative. What is the meaning of that? In parallel, the total voltage will be equal to the voltage number one, the number two, the number three, the number four, if you have more batteries connected in parallel. The voltage stay constant. In series, the intensity is constant. In parallel, the voltage is constant. What happens with the intensity? The intensity goes up. And the power for series, for series, the voltage is 24 volts and the intensity is 100 amps. The total power in series is 24 times 100 is 2400 watts. Ah, in other words, the power is equal. Ah, this is series and this is parallel. What is different here in comparison with this? 24, 100, 12 volts, 200. Ah, in parallel, I have more, more amps. In series, I, I, I have less amps. Mm, if I have more amps, I need bigger cables, thicker cables, cables with more diameter, heavy cables in parallel because I am going to move more amount of amps in series I need a smaller cables thinner cables for that reason in airplanes the batteries of the airplanes are configured 28 volts and the diameter of the wires is small less weight depending on the configuration in 24 volts, you need thinner cables. In 12 volts, you need thicker cables.